Oh, a left wing three. Nice. Got it. That's a great look by Van This club up, this club this club up, this club this club up, 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 this
the SEC, but she's reuniting with a coach she's very familiar with in Johnny Harris. Mingo Young is this dynamic point guard that can be the top of your defense. She can lead you in transition. She's a terrific distributor, but today she's going to have to look for her own shot. Scoring has been an issue for the Auburn Tigers, not so much for LSU. They're first in the nation in points per game. LSU Tigers control the tip, and Haley Van Lith, the transfer from Louisville, the point guard now for LSU, will set things up. And Auburn in that man-to-man -man defense, what they're known on, what they're going to have to be good at today to compete with LSU. Auburn's starting five is going to look a little bit different, especially in the post. Owinda Mola, Akeem Bulawa, number 20, is going to get her start today, and Johnny Harris felt like she needed her on the floor against LSU. Well, Akeem Bulawa is very agile. She can run and keep up with the transition of LSU. Honestly, Scott Grayson looking inside, and there is an offensive foul that will go against Taylor Collins. It will be LSU's basketball. Well, the LSU starting five looks pretty good. They have three new pieces that have been so big, especially the freshman, Michaela Williams, number 12. Michaela Williams is special. She can create her own shot. She knows the game. She's got a college body ready to compete at this level. Rajay Johnson driving in, and she'll get to the free throw line. That's something you can't ignore with LSU. They are going to get to the free throw line. They do it better than anyone in the nation, first in free throw attempts per game. In this season, LSU has more perimeter scoring, but Kim Mulkey doesn't rely on the three only. She still is that paint first mentality on the offensive end. Project Johnson, the reigning SEC freshman of the year, hits the first. Okay, Kim Mulkey has said numerous times, I'm not worried about scoring. We can do that. They do it better than anyone <laughs> in the nation. What she's focused on Kim is Kurt Byer, to come along, once again. She feels like it is. The thing LSU had last year was Alexis Morris that was really that spark on the defensive end. Brought that jet quickness. Who will that be for LSU this season? Dylan Duhon in for the layup. Count it, and she's going to the free throw line. Yesterday, LSU worked on attacking off those ball screens and recognizing that, uh, that LSU would hedge hard. So attack the baseline, rejecting the screen, and Duhon goes to the basket, gets two, and a bonus opportunity at the free throw line. And that's the first foul against Angel Reese. Caitlin Duhon making her second start of the season. She did her first in their last game against Ole Miss. Misses the free throw. Plage, coast to coast. And really smart by Honesty Scott Grayson. Don't risk a foul there. She is the main offensive punch for the Auburn Tigers. There's Jemiah Mingo Young trying to shake off Haley Van Lith. Back to Duhon on the other side. And Akeem Bolawa's pass just missing Taylin Collins. Johnny Harris in her third season, and she feels like, you know, the culture is established now at Auburn. Her culture and her players are in this program. Well, family is the biggest thing that Johnny Harris wanted her team to feel in coming to Auburn. Today is family day. You see all of them, they've got their family day t-shirts on on the bench. They play together. The chemistry is terrific. The takeaway, Honesty Scott Grayson pulls up their leading scorer. She misses. Akeem Balawa corrals it back to Scott Grayson. You see Auburn being patient. They want this to be a low possession game. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Duhan's got to take it. The putback. The rebound and put back from Taylin Collins, the transfer from Oklahoma State. It's a good start for Auburn. I mean, they've been patient. They haven't turned the ball over. That's going to be key because that's what LSU likes to do is get out and run and capitalize on your mistakes. Well, you heard Bob Starkey, the associate head coach for LSU, yesterday in practice. He said, you don't know how hard Auburn is going to play you. They are going to play hard for 40 minutes. Well, if there's anybody that knows Johnny Harris, it is Bob Starkey. Starkey and Auburn is off to a great start. Yeah, Johnny Harris and Bob Starkey, both assistants together at Texas A&M under Gary Blair. It's a big bucket by Jemiah 
Domingo Young and Auburn up three. Well, here's going to be a challenge for the sophomore. Angel Reese. Woo! She's just too tough. Too tough when she gets a ball down on the block. Her first points, again, seeking her 50th straight game of double-figure points. Scott Grayson elevates. And it's going to stay with Auburn. We talked about Jemiah Mingo Young in the open, that she was going to have to look for a shot, and the other was Angel Reese, a force in the paint for the LSU Tigers. And Auburn runs out of time. LSU's defense didn't give them any options. Do you hear an LSU chant inside Neville Arena at Auburn? <laughs> I did. The show has brought the audience with them. We've definitely seen some sparkly jackets, too, in the crowd. The uh, Kim Mulkey staple, if you will. Is there a store that everybody's going to? Because you see it everywhere you go. If not, there should be a Mulkey Madness store. I bet you they go to Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Van Lip driving. And the rebound by Anissa Morrow. And the travel. It'll be a turnover. Oh, wow. That's one of the things that makes LSU so tough is, all right, you got to worry about the rebounding of Angel Reese. Well, Anissa Morrow also is a double-double machine, too. And Morrow, the transfer from DePaul. Up and in for Duhon. Auburn doesn't look intimidated one bit that they're taking on the defending champions. Angel Reese taking her time, getting her own rebound and back to the free throw line. It's a great ball screen by Taylor Collins that gives Duhon just enough time. It's those angles of that screen from the wing that Auburn has adjusted to find the opening. So you're trying to get to the nail. That's that middle part of the free throw line. Really makes it tough for the defense to recover. So Kimbolawa will take a seat. That's her second foul. Actually, I think they awarded that to Caitlin Duhon. And Angel Reese at the free throw line. She has attempted more free throws than anyone in the nation. 39 straight games in double figs. She's seeking to be the first to hit 50 since Simone Augustus did it in 97 straight games. Now that was a player. Now how about that? At LSU. Not only LSU, but also great in the WNBA as well. Love to watch how Angel Reese communicates with her teammates on the floor. Haley Van Lith, new to the system. They had a little communication. I'd be interested to see probably a two-man game coming up. Van Lith new to the system and new to the position. She's taking over the point guard duties for LSU. Go Young trying to step around Van Lith, and it comes down to Flage Johnson. Right back into Auburn's hands. Honesty, Scott Grayson, and one. Not giving up on a play. That's what Auburn did. Yeah, you may have missed the layup, but then coming back defensively, having your head up, being aware, get it back, go score, staying in, a, staying in attack mode. Honestly, Scott Grayson averaging 15 and a half points per game to lead Auburn. That's 11th in the SEC. That foul was on Flage, of course. And she completes the three-point play. LSU, three turnovers 
led to seven points for Auburn. And I think a big difference maker for LSU is last year, Cola. Running at the point, she just makes things happen. She's not looking for her shot, but she's looking to get this team organized and then bring it defensively. Ipoa being number 13 in purple, who's checked in for the first time for LSU. The shot was missed by Michaela Williams. Celia Sumbane trying to step around. Transition defense important for Auburn. Flage to the rack. Now, Flage has really, since the national championship game, she's up her confidence level on the floor as well. More aggressive. She looks tremendous, tremendously fit. Jemaya Mingo Young, they need her to score more. Mingo missing. Look at Auburn go up on the number seven team in the nation and the defending national champions, 14 to nine. The defense backs up. You got to make them pay. And also, if LSU is going to go behind screen, do that as well. And Jamia Jamia Bingo Young <laughs> has done a great job of taking advantage of the LSU defense. Mingo Young at her third SEC school. She started out at Mississippi State playing when Johnny Harris was an assistant. Wanted to eventually get back to playing for Harris. And here she is, the only season she can play at Auburn. And she is their leader. And why Mingo Young was at Alabama, she 
got medically disqualified because of uh, having some pain in her knee. And then she got cleared and she wanted her. And it was two days after she had made her decision to go to Alabama that Johnny Harris got the job. That's why she had to wait in order to come to Auburn. It's been two seasons at Alabama and now her lone season here at Auburn. Celia Sumbane with the bucket. What are you seeing from Auburn right now? A lot of confidence. It's hard to stop that though. Angel Reese with all kinds of traffic. And the patience offensively. A little more organized on the offensive end as well. They've really slowed down and really been patient in finding the options of when they want to shoot the ball. Mingo Young coming off the screen. She'll kick to the corner to Sumbane. Sydney Shaw driving and she's fouled. And what Auburn is also doing is if they're not getting quality shots, they're at least getting to the free throw line. They're staying in attack mode. And that's one of the things I talked about LSU's defense, where they're missing the quickness of an Alexis Morris. So who's going to stop the penetrating drive without fouling for LSU? Michaela Williams whistled for her first foul and put Sydney Shaw at the free throw line, sophomore out of Miami. She drops them both in. You know, Auburn's had some milestones this season. I know they're 0-3 in SEC play, but they beat Clemson by 30 points. It was their largest Power 5 win since 2019. They rallied from a 13-point deficit against Rutgers, went on a 41-5 run to win that game. So you're seeing progress under Johnny Harris. It was a coach that said, first you have to teach your team to compete. Then you have to teach them how to win then you can teach them how to win championships. And I see that progression coming from Johnny Harris since she's come to the Plains. 17 seasons as an assistant, three Final Fours, national championship on staff at Texas A&M. Already been a fun day of college basketball. We've got more women's hoops for you coming up next. Tennessee, Texas A&M. This one will be in College Station to cap our triple header. Should be a really interesting matchup. Tennessee, a team that's still trying to find themselves with Rakia Jackson coming back. But they have won six straight games, and they've done so by an average of almost 17 points a game. It's interesting, too, to watch them in SEC play. They've trailed early in their first SEC games of the season and come back to one win. Well, Auburn's doing everything they can to hold on to this lead that they have over the reigning national champions. And they just got the ball back. Marshawn Bostic. Auburn is shooting 57% from the field. I'm impressed with what Auburn has done. You're on your home court. You've kept the opposing crowd out of it and giving the home team something to cheer about. Oh, in and out for Sydney Shaw. Michaela Williams needs to get going for LSU. It's number 12 in purple. Angel misses, gets her own rebound back to the free throw line. That's the thing about Angel Reese. If she misses that first shot more times than not, she's going to go after and probably come up with the second. So you've got to contest your shot, and then you've got to put a body and just make. You may give up your rebound, but you can't let her get it back. No, she's third in the nation in offensive rebounds per game. She just has such a high motive, a terrific second jump when it comes to rebounding. <laughs> This is the first. Can confirm she shoots free throws with her left hand. Yeah, I watched that at practice yeah. yesterday. <laughs> I got that, but you'll watch her when she makes moves in the paint. Sometimes it's with the right hand, sometimes with the left. Now that you switched up their defense now into a zone. Do you like the change? Yeah, because... Auburn was able to get in the paint. 
Poa almost had a steal. It's going to stay with Auburn. And they get last year Poa on the foul. Well, Poa on the deflection, but honesty, Scott Grayson, Scott Grayson doesn't give up on it. I believe that was called on Poa because her body momentum went into Scott Grayson. You got to call it on somebody. Minutes ago in an exciting first quarter with the defending national champions trailing. Scott Grayson will take it, swish! Auburn Tigers had come out and taken it to the LSU Tigers in this first quarter. Flaze Johnson, offensive foul. Akeem Balawa stepping up and taking the charge. Honesty, Scott Grayson, the patience, the poise. She waits till the defense steps back. Oh, you don't leave one of the best shooters on this Auburn team because she definitely will make you pay. Scott Grayson with eight points, 20 seconds. Auburn can hold for the last shot of the quarter. They're up by 10. Wow. Now LSU can take the last shot. Michaela Williams back out to last tier Poa. And Poa is going to be fouled behind the arc by Marshawn Bostick. Yeah, Bostick, you might should let that go. It's a desperation Plays on review shot. whether it's a two-point or a three-point. So they're going to look to make sure how many free throws would be coming, two or three. Yeah, that should be three. Yeah. After review, it is a three free throw foul. So three free throws coming for last year pull up. Three shots. LSU has not hit a field goal in the last three minutes. And Auburn winning in three crucial categories, rebounding, paint, points in the paint, and fast break points. Who would have thought that? Because that's really what LSU is built on, right? Poe gets two of three. How about that 10 minutes? Auburn in front of what they expect to be a record crowd coming out on fire, fired up against the defending national champions and the Auburn Tigers lead it. First person shooter mode, we turning your son to a funeral. So the, the say they don't office, you better be talking about working in Cuba code. Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code. A lot of debate in my numero, not the three, not the two on the UNO. Yeah. Numero you and no, me and Jizzy the like the Super Bowl, man. It, then it big as the big as the what? Big as the what? Big as the what? Big as the Super Bowl, but the difference is it's just two guys playing that they did in the studio. Usually send they verses back to me and they be terrible, just like a two-year-old. I love a dinner with some fine women when they start debating about who the gold. I'm like, go ahead. Say it then, who the goat, who the goat, who the goat, who the goat, who you really rooting for? Like a kid that had bad from January to November, it's just you and Cole. Biggest the what? Biggest the what? Biggest the what? Biggest the Super Bowl. 
thirsty to put me in beef Dissecting my words and start looking too deep I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth I'm letting it rock cause I love the mystique I still wanna give me a song where I be Can't trust everything that you saw on IG Just know if I diss you I make sure you know that I hit you Like I'm on your call ID I'm naming the album to fall off It's pretty ironic cause it ain't no fall off for me Still in this getting bigger They waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be Love when they argue the hardest MC Is it K-Dot, is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league But right now I feel like Muhammad Ali <laughs> Yeah, Muhammad Ali The one that they call when they, they connecting no more Feel like I got a job in IT Rhyming with me is the biggest mistake The Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake It's like we recruited your homies to be Demon Deacons We got them attending your wake Hey, how the gang got away from the bars in it like a prison escape. Everybody step is with and everybody breakfast and I'm about to clear up my plate. <laughs> when I show up, it's motion picture blockbuster. The goat with the golden pen, the top toucher, the spot rusher. Spray the toe up, the crop duster. Not rusher, but apply pressure to your cranium. Cold's automatic when aiming on with the boy in the status of stadium. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to, yo, yo. I'm about to click, I don't want to, I'm about to click, I'm about to click, I don't want to, I'm about to click, I'm down to click, I don't want to, make a crime scene, I click the trigger on a stick like a high beam, and I was feeling real big when I was 19, she come. Welcome to South Carolina, Peck, you'll be a part of that college game. Day coverage. Can I, cool. can I tell you how fun game day is? The fans come out early. Sometimes they're camping out and then come inside. The energy in the building is electric. There's also going to be an opportunity. There's a three-point contest. You can probably go home with a little bank. Ooh, you have an option okay. for that. I'm going to tell you, game day is so much fun. You're going to get great reports from Holly Rowe. You're going to have Andrea Carter's there. El Duncan's going to be there with me. Rebecca Lobo. It's going to be so much fun. Man, so exciting that that's our first game to two of the top teams the two top teams in the sec and two of the top teams in the nation although one of them lsu is struggling right now you look at lsu compared to south carolina because south carolina is the one to compare to they're the number one team in the nation maybe even better than they were last season well you look at the points are going to be scored or it's going to be a defensive battle both teams they can score it South Carolina has added a three-point shooting component to their game to go along with Camilla Cardoso inside where LSU has Michaela Weems. They need to get her going today. So again, January 25th, the first college game day of the season at LSU for the South Carolina game. Angel Reese driving. And if you're just joining us, this score might shock you, but Auburn has come out, nothing to lose. They have played so fierce. They have battled on the glass. They have been very patient and composed on the offensive end. And then defensively, that's what Johnny Harris is the queen of, is having a defensive game plan, really making it very difficult for LSU to get easy buckets. And yeah, Auburn scored its second most points in the first quarter in this game and held LSU to its second lowest first quarter points this season. And well, LSU, what Auburn is doing is they're guarding Angel Reese one-on-one, -on -one, and LSU now is taking full advantage. Go inside to number 10 in purple. We'll see if they bring a double team. Michaela Williams swats that away. Bostic able to corral it. Bostic missing the layup. And Bostic is so fast. But she's got to be willing to pull that jumper because the defense is playing off of her. Michaela Williams, her second shot of the game is a missed three. The put back by Anissa Morrow. Morrow and Reese on the glass. That's an area you can't go to sleep. You cannot take a pause. When the shot goes up, you got to put a body on those two. You know, Angel was telling us about the first few practices when Anissa <laughs> came in. It got a little heated, but in the best way, she goes, adding Anissa Morrow to this roster has been the best thing for me. That's coming from Angel Reese. Well, and Kim Mulkey's not afraid to bring in players that are, can compete for positions. They, she doesn't want somebody that's going to come in and concede to say, I'm going to play behind such and such. No, go get it. Look at that connection. Angel Reese sat in Anissa Morrow's recruiting visit meeting and said, we need you at LSU. 
Uh, that would make me want to sign up. When you have a player like Avery saying she wants you to come play, this is a player, that's the 50th straight game, 10 plus points. Not bad. The first in Simone Augustus to do that when she went and did it in 97 straight games. And that's going to be a foul on Morrow. You know, Kim Mulkey talked this week about Angel Reese. She said, you know, she's unselfish. She doesn't have to be, but she is. And she knew they were going to need some extra talent, some help. And we asked her about it. Angel said it's nice to have help this year. Angel wants to win. Yes. Bottom line, and will recruit anybody that can help her do that. Missed three by Honesty Scott Grayson. No call, and Michaela Williams down the sideline. I thought that could have been a jump ball. Boom! Elbow! First bucket for Michaela Williams. Michaela Williams may be a freshman, but she doesn't play like it. She was the number two overall recruit in her class, number one by several different outlets, too. Pane. Rebound by Morrow. Poa up ahead looking for Reese. Last touch by Scott Grayson. Michaela Williams so dangerous on both ends of the floor. You see her battle for the rebound. And then the maturity of understanding coming in, down in transition. She got space. Window opens and she knocks it down. Michaela's first love was softball. She was actually recruited by several SEC teams. I think Beth Torina got her name in there too, LSU softball coach. But uh, fortunately for Kim Mulkey, she chose basketball. She said she was, what, a catcher? And multiple positions, outfield. they moved her to the outfield because of her arm. She said because of her arm. I think that's why she has that strength to knock down the long ball. Morrow underneath. And LSU, after struggling in the first quarter, only scoring 15 points, they now have a lead. Auburn has not scored in the second quarter. Well, LSU has turned their defense up. Auburn 0 for 6 now in this quarter. And the LSU Tigers, they're getting more aggressive on the glass. You think there was a conversation about that in between quarters? If there's anything you're going to talk about with Kim Mulkey, she's going to talk about defense, and she's going to talk about rebounding. The long two from Morrow is off. Scott Grayson down with it. Haley Van Lith whistled for the foul. In the first quarter, it was, Ella, it was Auburn that was all over the glass, and now... It's all about LSU. That ends a 12-0 run by LSU as Jemiah Mingo Young, a much-needed bucket and the first for Auburn in the second quarter. You see that change of direction. Haley, Haley Van Lith got, she got tricked. She went flying to the middle. There's no treat in that, all tricks. Back to Sumbane. Mingo Young knew to give it right back to her. Auburn's not backing down. Yeah, LSU made their run, but Auburn running right back at them and in transition. But check out this crossover. Jemiah Mingo Young, she tricked Haley Van Lith. Thought she was going middle, came baseline, tricks are for kids, silly rabbit. <laughs> Celia Sumbane with the three-point play. Sumbane is a player in their last game against Old Miss. Came out in the fourth quarter, went on an 8-0 run by herself. Sumbane's got length. She's athletic. She can really be beneficial to the defense for Auburn as well. She's on Michaela Williams right now. Morrow trying to create some space for her, and it's an air ball in the hands of Sumbanye. That's what we're talking about. Right back by Williams. So Johnny Harris tell, tell Sumbanye to pass it. In order to give it up, you've got to be extra secure with the basketball once you get a possession against LSU.
seconds on the shot clock. To the corner, no, turnover. Up ahead to Van Lith, and LSU has numbers. LSU has hit six of its last eight shots. The defense has really turned up for LSU. That's been the biggest difference in this second quarter. That's been the question mark, too, for LSU. They know the offense has been showing up, but what has the defense been doing lately? Wow. around Angel Reese, but she got to get back. Janae Kent. Seconds. Sumbane. Rebound by Reese. Auburn lost its composure a little bit there. Still being patient. They're better off you know, getting late in the clock, but your execution's got to be better early. Auburn is led by as many as 10. LSU went on a 12 0 run to start the second quarter. Mm. Filthy. Williams makes some plays. I just have to shake my head. Uh-uh. That's a bad girl. She does not look like a freshman. LSU up three. The defense picked up for the LSU Tigers. And what does that do? That lets them get out in transition. Easy points, easy buckets. But Auburn's got to hang in there. Honestly, Scott Grayson, she got me shaking my head too. Y'all come on back. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Yeah, big as fuck, yeah, look, big as fuck, big four flush. Look, oh, uh, look, and they say big four was you scared to make diamonds up out of pressure. Put a hundred on their head, it's about time they gotta respect us. I really need a ten if I'm signing, ain't nothing less of my mind. It gotta be special, my grind is just so excessive. Uh, they be talking down, but I don't ever let it get to me. Came to LSU my freshman year and we made history. I was trying to wait and serve the game, they wasn't tipping me. Soundtrack of my life and I'm just conducting the symphony. Balling this ain't winning, uh, Billy Windows tenant, uh, Working on my image, uh, up in my percentage Put the pendant on the trophy, you ain't winning, don't approach me Pull up courtside in the crazy fit, I look like Moki huh? I just hit a milli, my bank account looking silly I'm hitting them like the Phillies, the coldest flow in the city Like John Morant, I might gritty, I've never asked for a penny I'm blocking them like I'm Jenny, ain't no me, man, it's just in me I'm like, get away to hibernate, they let the beast outside the cage Ain't try to play, they counting me out, I feel some type of way Keep making up stories, I'm like, which one they gonna write today Keep switching these fours, I'm like, which one I'm gonna like today on God Look, I don't really came from the bottom and I don't seen it all. I seen a young go make it and then I seen them fall. And what was all of their faces when I had needed job? I'm never getting complacent, I swear I need it all. Man, I really came from the bottom and I done seen it all. I seen a young go make it and then I seen them fall. And what was all of their faces when I had needed job? I'm never getting complacent, I swear I need it all. Yeah. But what was you when I needed you? You were just supposed to see it through. It was supposed to be me and you. 
was supposed to be me and you. It was supposed to be me and you, and now I feel neglected. And you don't understand my pain, so I don't feel protected. And you treating me like a lane, I don't feel respected. The same behavior you won't change, oh, I get the message. Ain't nothing ever given to me, I quit hard work. I just had to keep on praying, man, I put God first. Got it out the mud, it's on my shoes, it came from all dirt. And my homie died by suicide, he popping all perk. And I know that sticks and stone, never supposed to break your bone. We were kids ride around, never knowing right from wrong. All I knew was stay down, get the money, write these songs. Trying to find a way out, now I gotta write my wrong. I been getting paid now, talking on a microphone. This is what I pray by, finally got the life I want. Wish you would've stayed down, but I kinda like it gone. Everybody hand up, I don't even like my flow. I don't really care like from the bottom, man, I done seen it all. I seen a million go make it, and then I seen them fall. And what was all of their faces when I had needed jobs? I'm never getting complacent, I swear I need it all. Man, I really came from the bottom. They've done exactly that. And I think Dre is right. This game's going to be about which team can take care of the basketball. Bostic driving under three until the half. And she stepped out of bounds. You know, LSU, they were able to go inside more. In the first quarter, only eight points in the paint. Second quarter, 16 paint points. Well, Angel Reese and Anissa Morrow have just done their job in posting up and then the offensive second, opp second opportunities. Turnover again. Now, can Auburn capitalize? Scott Grayson. Too much traffic. Uh-oh, Taylor Collins snuck behind the defense. Honestly, Scott Grayson, remember, she started her college career at Baylor when Kim Mulkey is that was there. So this may be a little extra motivation for her to perform today. She's coming off 16 points against Ole Miss. Nine seconds, Kent misses the take to the basket, and Scott Grayson with the rebound. Savannah Scott was all by her lonesome on the block, but they couldn't get her the ball. Watch Scott Grayson coming off the ball screen and recognizing Taylor Collins down low by herself for the two. I thought this was a game where LSU was going to play off of Auburn, be forcing them to take outside shots, but Auburn has found a way to get the ball inside. Well, Auburn's got 16 paint points. Three seconds. And that's going to be a foul on Angel Reese, her second. Bostic attacking off the ball screen. You know, in Auburn's last game, when guards would come off the screen, it was almost like a windshield wiper across the top. They weren't looking to turn the corner to be aggressive. It's been different today. Well, they worked on it a lot yesterday at practice. About three hours worth. We set through all of it. They worked hard. And that's a travel on Bostic. She ran right into Aaliyah Del Rosario. Tenth turnover by Auburn. LSU has eight. I'd like to see LSU to go to Del Rosario down low on the block. Number 23 in purple. This freshman has worked really hard. She's gotten in terrific shape throughout the season already. Van Lith from the elbow. Morrow hustling to get the rebound, and LSU with another possession. Oh, you got to give it to the big girls. She's working so hard down low. In and out for Van Lith. Morrow again! Does not quit. Quit ain't in her vocabulary. Two huge offensive rebounds in that last possession. Now, Auburn could go two for one. Shaw looking for space, picks up her dribble. Here's Scott. That's a reset. That's a smart decision by Sidney Shaw. Bostic with the crossover. Weaving up and around and in for Marshawn Bostic. 
talked about in practice. Little busting to attack more. But then LSU does the same, and it's Anissa Morrow. How fun is this battle? A close game at the half. Angel Reese, 13 points, 5 of 9 from the field. And LSU leading, but not by much. Let's get you back to Al in the studio. All right, thank you, Courtney. It is your Jeep Halftime Report. I am L. Duncan, alongside the Hall of Famer, Rebecca Lobo, Andrea Carter, our resident Lady Ball in the building. Uh, this is a tight one. This is a close one. Maybe didn't expect it to be as close, but Auburn right now holding LSU down off of their season average for first half points, typically 44. How are they getting it done? Well, to compete with LSU, you have to do a lot of things, but two in particular. You have to be able to defend without fouling, okay. and you have to keep them off the offensive glass. And I thought in particular in that first quarter, Auburn's quarter court defense was outstanding and did both of those things. We have a couple examples. We'll start right here. They would send help early. There's balls going in, trying uh, LSU trying to get it in the paint. Auburn help came early. We're going to see it again on this possession. Pass coming in. What do you see with this player coming over for help? Forcing tough twos and boxing out is huge. Here, Anissa Morrow, this is a tough shot, but the most important part is what is happening right here. The box out. You have to keep Angel Reese and the rest of the team off the offensive glass. And then what happens, Drea? Good defense. Turns into good offense for Auburn, and that's something that they've struggled with this season, putting up points. They only have one player that averages double figures. That's honestly Scott Grayson. But when you get this type of defensive effort from the Auburn Tigers, it can lead to easy buckets. This is an and one play. Honestly, Scott Grayson, the steal, the layup. Not only is it an energy giving play, it's a confidence giving play. That is great effort on the front three quarter wrap. Again, you're off and running. It's a two on one situation. You handle it perfectly, just like you do in practice. That defensive energy fueling Auburn's offense and giving them easy opportunities to score has given this team a lot of confidence. A 13-point swing, if you will, although that didn't seem to matter very much when it came to Virginia Tech's game with the FSU. That happened a little earlier today. Let's get you those highlights. They say she get it from her mama. I'ma say you got it right. Body root is unpolite. Don't be in the humble type. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go up tonight. Hoes and hope she's left and right. I just want to live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top of the memories I've ever made in my life. Permanent ecstasy. The ladies is pimps tonight. I put that on my mama, on my hood I look fly, I look good You can't touch my back, but you could I look fly, I look too good Put that on my mama, on my hood I look fly, I look good You can't touch my back, but you could I look fly, I look too good With a peppermint They say, oh, she smell good That's just cause I'm having sin Sex game goes stupid Stopping like a toothpick Man, I tell the truth Your opinion is irrelevant But I I know you think I'm fine Might be too fine to hit it from behind Reflection in the mirror Don't decline I can't even lie, lie, lie I put that on my own mama On my hood I look fly, I look good You can't touch my back you could, I look fly, I look too good Put that on my mama, on my hood I look fly, I look good What's up, Jerome? What's up, Jerome? 
You can hear me? What you thought about the game, Jerome? What you think we need to do in the second half to finish it out strong? You could come up and speak. Anybody can you hear me? come up and speak right now? It's can you hear me? Time. If you got something to say, come up to speak. Yeah, I can hear you right now. All yes, right, sir. good, good. I, I can think hear you. What we need to do, man, is we need to play our game because, as you just saw in the second quarter, we played excellent defense and Auburn didn't score. We went on a 12 0 run. We need to go back to that. If we go to that, we protect the ball, there's no way that Auburn can beat us. Right, right. I agree on you, that brother. Yes, sir. Anybody else want to come up and speak? What he think we gonna need to do versus South Carolina? <laughs> yeah, what you, what you think we need to do versus South Carolina, Jerome? Okay, this is what we we need to play our game plan because uh, South Carolina gonna play their game plan. But what we got to do is is we got to make sure that we uh, we gonna have to play big against Cardosa. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we can get Aaliyah to get her confidence up, I think that's going to be a battle in the middle, her and Cardosa. And if she can play good defense, because right now she kind of like little iffy on her defense. Because if you watch how Angel plays when she's in the game, and then you watch how uh, Del Rosario plays in the game, uh, Del, uh, Del Rosario don't step up to help on the double team. She just kind of stays in the paint. So if she steps her yeah. game up defensively, I think we're going to be fine because we can play defense against Pow Pow because all Pow Pow is going to do is dribble, penetrate, and, and mm-hmm. shoot the three. We can stop that. But we got to make sure that uh, Raven Johnson don't have a good game. If we can take right. Raven Johnson yeah. and Pow Pow out of the game and play good defense because we already know that um, Ashlyn, uh, she's she can't, she not going to shoot the three-pointer. She's going to take the ball in the middle. So we're going to have right. to put Angel on her, but the rest of the team going to have to step up. Yeah, I agree with you. The Rosario, she need to move around more and stuff, get to the spots like you were saying. She just be like standing in one spot. Right. Absolutely. And anybody else want to come up and speak? Do you agree with Brother Jerome? Last guy games, um, last halftime, we had the men, we had the ladies come up. So this halftime, I pulled my man in here. And so we can get the fellas to come up. And actually, Jerome just joined. So that was cool. But if anybody else wants to talk, if you want to speak, okay, I just dropped the link. J plug, you're more than welcome to come up until halftime is done. But let's take care of this business first. I like Kent. Jerome, how do you think Kent um Kent played today when she was in? I think Kent played very well. I like mm-hmm. how she she's long. She shuffles her feet. She gets mm-hmm. in the face of the uh player. Mm-hmm. And I think that's gonna do her well coming off the bench. And mm-hmm. she might be that sixth player that Kim Mulkey is looking for yes. you know, defensively. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, I totally agree. I love Kent. I like her defense. I think she's very aggressive. I don't want her to be too aggressive. Well, Kim doesn't care about us using our files. She said that plenty of times. Right. Use your files. They just not feed in ADR. Yeah. And and here here's the other thing too is if we can get Haley to to stop overreacting because mm-hmm. if if we get Haley Van Litt to calm down, and make good passes because most of the turnovers have come from her not being smart with the ball. So she just needs to relax. She needs to play her game. And then, you know, we need to do some ball fakes and some screens to get her hot and to get Michaela hot. Because if she gets hot, then it's going to be a wrap for Auburn. Yeah, I agree. I feel like she go hard on herself too much sometimes. Right. What's up, Octavia? Hello. How you doing, Chloe? What you think? What you think about this game, Chloe? Octavia, what you feel like we need to do? 
for this next second half? Um, I feel like first the guards need to slow down and play at pace. They need to get Michaela Williams involved more. Yeah. They need to switch heavily off screens and let Angel and Morrow keep dropping. Like they you know, but they don't completely pick up, they drop back because the two back doors that they got was pointless. And I feel like once MK get involved, once I get downs and put backs and Morrow will get involved and they're gonna be cool. Mm-hmm. Poor need to take one charge and they're gonna boost the offense. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think that's one of our things, like it's momentum. As soon as that momentum get over on our end, it's a wrap from there. Right. Octavia, um, what would you like to say before um the halftime is over? Um, no, we good. You know, third mm-hmm. quarter is our quarter. We good. We normally exactly. start off. Oh, I saw some people was saying like how we start. I'm like, we normally do that. And mm-hmm. it's just us getting, we still gelling. People have to remember that we're still mm-hmm. gelling all of these parts and pieces together. So we good. Mm-hmm. We good. Right. I think we're good too. I, I think we're God. good too. Well, the game is going to be back soon. Thank y'all so much for coming up. Thank you, everybody who comes up. LaKendrick, you can go ahead before halftime comes up back. So, LaKendrick. Oh, not much. Okay, I think we're going to be pretty good. We just got to slow down the tempo when we get to the half court, work our uh, offense, and try to go to Andrew Reese a little bit more. And look, and just the, the point guards just got to control the game flow and make these shots. And we got to make our free throws. Definitely, definitely. I agree on you, that brother. And just keep attacking because I see that we first, when we tag the bastard, they're not ready. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, man. If Samaya was in the game, oh my God, man. Right, man. <laughs> She's going to have a great year this year. Yeah. Yes, she was. Every game she was having her like most game, uh, most points yet. Like right, she was averaging over seventeen points a game. Man, she was killing it. Yeah. And she was kicking everything coming down her way. That's it, you know. And then the thing about it is, is I can't wait to see her next year because once she gets back, you know, it'll be her. Uh, well, it'll be her junior year next year, and she's gonna come back strong because Angel's gonna be gone. Moro's probably going to be gone. And then who who we going to have? We're going to have Del Rosario. We're going to have Samaya. Um, Poe's going to be gone. But then I'm hoping that in some of these SEC games that our guards like Velez gets a chance to come up, yeah. you know, and show what she can do. Because I was watching her when she was playing like uh, three-on-three basketball. Yeah, Velez she got, got great game. potential. Yeah, yeah she, got she got great game. potential. Yeah. She just got to get like more confident out there. I feel right, like. but she nice though. She really like she hoop like. Right, and she then, a real oh, hooper. <laughs> just wait to the recruit the recruiting class that we got coming uh, this year. Oh man, it's gonna be nice. Right. They said why would Coral be gone? Cause she well she's a junior this year, so she she'll have one more year. Yeah, she'll have one more year. Okay. And do you think Angel will stay another year? She probably will, cause that 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 nil money is sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we should start going live more. But we got an other page called Bayou Buzz. Yeah, I think we should start going live more for like an hour, just straight live videos, no game, to build the community. Oh man, up. that would be cool. We can do some commentating. I think that would be sweet. And I'm gonna have to start donating to you guys too, man, cause I appreciate y'all streaming the game like this. Yes, yes, thank you. We don't get paid for this, as you know, because right. we, we don't we can't get paid for the streams. We just do this out of our heart to build yeah. our community. Are y'all from no. Louisiana? No, we in Mobile. Oh, okay. Cause I'm actually from uh, Alexandria, Louisiana, man, and it's sure. and it's it's just awesome to be able to see because a lot of these games, you know, they show some on the SEC network, and then just like the game that they played um, against uh, Ole Miss, that wasn't on TV. You can drop the link to our um our other page. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna drop the link to our other page after we get our um subscribers up. We'll start going live like before game days or probably before the game, like an hour ahead.
or after we just switch yeah, over and then we cool. talk for an hour everybody get on we yeah just that'd talk be cool. build our lsu community up because you know everybody after lsu so we gotta right. come in our pack there you go there you go <laughs> yeah. i agree yes sir yes sir but we right, um so make sure y'all subscribe to our other page so we can start going live all we'll right, cool. go live I'll do that. Again. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Thank you for coming out, Jerome. Thank yeah, you. appreciate y'all having this. You too. Blessings to you, sir. You too. Blessings to y'all too. We receive it. Stop. These things, though, and she has her 50th straight game in double figures. Well, and she's getting all of them in the paint. And this is the thing that Auburn's going to have to look, take a look at. Not only is it in the paint, but then it's in the restricted area. So those are offensive putbacks what? or deep post-ups. So Auburn's going to have to really clog that area. Honestly, Scott Grayson was the catalyst, the only player in double figures for Auburn, but helped them put up a heck of a fight. They see it in a number of different ways. Transition, jumper, driving in, in attack mode. She even knocked down the three, and she's going to have to do more of that, especially coming out in this third quarter. And now for today's game track, it's brought to you by E-Trade. Paint points, LSU plus 10 in that category. Rebounds, kind of similar, and free throws are going to be important too. And even when Auburn is losing in those categories, they're only down three points. So Johnny Harris has got to be pleased with that. And her original starting lineup is back on the floor because she had some foul trouble in that first half, especially not having Duhon on the floor because that was a player that was in attack mode, especially early in the first quarter. Now keep in mind, in the third quarter, LSU is plus 11.9 points per game in scoring margin. That leads the nation. So this is a great quarter for them. Why do you think that is? Well, because Kim Monkey's lighting a fire yeah. in the locker room, <laughs> for one. Have you seen some of the rants she's had on the sidelines? I can't imagine what they're like behind closed doors. Oh, I'd love to see it. We'll see how our team responds, but the same thing for Auburn. Caitlin Duhon back in the game. It's a two. She got into some foul trouble in the first half. Duhon hits that player that can hit jumpers from the perimeter. I said Auburn to have a chance in this game, going to have perimeter hit perimeter shots, and Duhon can do exactly that. And she helped Auburn come out in the first quarter and shoot 56% from the field. She's also been well connected to Michaela Williams. Now, Williams hadn't really had a breakout game. She's only got five points so far today. That pass is going to get away from Angel Reese, and it's a turnover. But we've seen what Michaela Williams could do this year. She had a career high 42 points by Kent State. That's the most ever by an LSU freshman. 20 plus points five times in her freshman campaign. Comes so back over to Honesty Scott Grayson. Elevating, dropping it in. She's got 12. Auburn back on top. Tomorrow, looking for help, she'll go back to Haley Van Cliff. You gotta find Angel Reese. She's getting late in the shot clock. Van Lift drives, misses. And there's gonna be a foul called on LSU on Anisa Morrow. That's her second. Mingo Young told us yesterday, we asked her about coming here to Auburn and playing for Johnny Harris. She's familiar with her system. Now, Johnny Harris is familiar with the dribble drive. It's not so much the dribble drive, but just ball screen options. And that's where Auburn has been able to be successful against LSU today. Yeah, Jemiah told us as soon as she got here, she had current Auburn players asking her questions <laughs> about this offense. She's like, I just got here. But Mingo Young is that leader. She's not shy. She's not introverted. She's willing to share. You haven't asked 
asked her who was she closest with on the team, and she said all of them. It's that chemistry, and Johnny Harris said she brought that from uh, Gary Blair, Vic Schaefer, wanting the locker room to feel like a family. The two coaches who she was an assistant for for a long time. Six seconds. Collins has got to take it. Did not flinch. Again, scoring with the ball screen action. Two-man game. Plaget with the response. But LSU doesn't really need to run it off. It's coming down in transition. Auburn, there's no time to celebrate. When you score, you've got to get back against LSU. Yeah, LSU fast break points. They average 23 fast break points a game. Looking to add two more. Flaget, no. Rebound by Reese, and she is fouled. That's the thing. When you're playing LSU and your point guard is below that free throw line area when the shot goes up, somebody else has got to take that responsibility and get back in transition because LSU is going to be looking to run. Melinda Mola, Akeem Balawa was called for her second foul. And Reese misses the first. She's second in the nation in free throws made. Well, she gets there. And a lot of it is because of her energy to go to the glass. 14 points now for Angel. Scott Grayson gets open on the baseline. Collins with the board. Duhon, she has been a difference maker. This is her first start today, and she has had an immediate impact. Not her first start. First start was last game, her second start in right. a row. Her second start. She got only six starts last season. I think Johnny Harris has seen the energy that she can bring, how productive Duhon can be. Number four in white on the court and she's made a big difference in the start of this game and the start of this third quarter. Eight points for Caitlin Duhon, four of five from the field. Auburn is shooting 66% from the field here in the third quarter. And we got a tie game. The Auburn Tigers have led by as many as 10 LSU. Their largest lead was by three. Bingo Young trying to shake off Poa. Get late in the shot clock. And it's going to stay with Auburn. Last touch by LSU, but 3.2 seconds on the shot clock. you got to believe Auburn's going to be looking for the focus of the LSU defense, Scott Grayson. They go right to her. Throws it off, and it's up, and it's off. It'll be a shot violation. Auburn has been disruptive on the defensive end. LSU's not been able to get into a real flow offensively. More of their scoring's been in transition and quick strikes. Now LSU in this half shooting 33% from the field. Angel <laughs> pivoting through the defense. That's where you go. Yeah. You struggling to score. You go to number 10 in purple, Angel Reese. An All-American last year, the final four most outstanding player was Angel Reese. You know, social media, you see Angel Reese everywhere. I talked to her yesterday, and I had talked to the coaching staff. When she was on the road, all the travels and things that she does, she still finds time to get her workouts in. She got trainers everywhere because basketball is important to her. She takes it seriously. You look how strong she is. She gets down, post up. We showed the shot chart where she was scoring from. It's right there, getting at least a foot inside that restricted area. Yeah. 
Georgia does have the option to enter the draft this year for the WNBA, but she does not have to. She could come back another year. As long as she's enjoying her life playing college basketball, the talent that Kim Mulkey is assembling would be a tough decision. Maje back tomorrow. A little too much on the jumper. Inside to Akeem Malala by herself on the block and Mingo Young Sar. The value of a veteran point guard, seeing the floor, knowing how to deliver the pass to set up the easy two. Morrow, that time, she's good. Yeah, you know, Morrow can score. You, put, you come from DePaul, and their their whole mantra is off scoring in transition, quick shots, threes. Morrow fits that. Her 11th double-double of the season. Collins gets the offensive board. Back out to Shaw. Boom! Sydney Shaw lighted up. But you got to get back, Angel Reese. Yeah, against LA, don't celebrate too much yeah. now. But the offense is clicking for Auburn, and they do what they normally do. Defensive end, that's been huge to keep them right here in striking distance. Auburn's biggest struggle this year has been their lack of consistent scoring. Not today, says Mingo Young. Mingo Young, 50%, four for eight from the floor. Being much more aggressive, looking for a shot. Foul whistled against Angel Reese as we go to break. It's been the battle of the Tigers, back and forth. You got Sidney Shaw knocking down the three. Hey, don't go anywhere, because we're in for a good one. Ciao. What y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? I don't even know what to play. Let me play this. <laughs> and yes, it's getting scary. <laughs> Okay, I'll refresh for people that have to play again. It went out. Big folder. Say Biggest say folder. Say Let's go. I just James waited for my opportunity. Here. I got my shot and I laced up my shoes and I executed They play beautiful. Then I get 10K to the Did boys and girls club guys? so I could better my community. Okay, I would I'm hate to read another up. eulogy. Y'all that I ever really want was unity. You put me you down, know what? Y'all see that on the screen? Of game why you ain't just me. See, I was walking why you couldn't Uber me. It ain't real. I just don't know who to I'm meet. I'm coming back up. I learned that you reap what you sow. You could teach what you know.